Roll a cap. Zapiro, South Africa's top cartoonist, is in the business of making the public laugh often at the expense of someone who he is targeting. And we realize that's just what the Sucker Squad did. So, of course, we just had to make Zapiro, otherwise known as Jonathan Shapiro, this week's Big Sucker, to see if he could take his own medicine. We flew Zapiro to Joburg, where a Sucker Squad member meets him and takes him to a nearby hotel. The cartoonist is here to meet with a wealthy American who's interested in buying his work. But first, we arrange for him to bump into an old friend. Stephen's a member of the Sucker Squad. He plays an important role later on. Jonathan. Stephen Jennings. <laughs> How are you doing? What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. What do you have? Oh, I'm here to do an audition for an international... Enter our rich American, Chester J. Burnside, Jr. This is Shapiro. It's a pleasure. It is a pleasure, sir. Chester Burnside. Good to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you, too, Chester. Uh, what did you say? Burnside. Yeah. All right. Right this way. Chester has flown all the way from the US to meet with Sapiro, supposedly to buy some of his cartoons for an international exhibition. All rubbish, of course. Chester and everyone else that Jonathan meets is part of the Sucker Squad. As they enter Chester's suite, the fax machine is going mad. Excuse me a second, this damn thing's been going all day. Anyway. Sapiro is impressed by the list of cartoonists already on board for the international exhibition. Impressive list, right? Yeah. Chester is clearly most impressed with Zapiro's work. By the way, I'm a great fan of yours. I've read all your books. I got all eight right. from Mandiba right on you. And so he should be. Did yeah, right? yeah. I got the Prince Klaus Award at the end of the <laughs> Chester is very politically connected. By the way, Bill Clinton's favorite cartoon is that cartoon you did of Air Force One with the big uh, swan. <laughs> I mean, the guy he went, he thought that was the funniest thing he ever really? did. Well, I think he uh, wishes he. Yeah, I wish he was sitting down. Uh, Hillary wasn't so pleased, but he really was. Now that Sapiro's yeah. feeling comfortable and confident, journalists. Yes. You know Charlie it's time to turn the tables. Uh, uh, I don't. Would you get that, please? You don't know Charlie Schoenberger? Chester has a bodyguard? A Democratic senator. Fell in love with him. There he is, my boy. How is the trip? It's my hey, you don't look jet lagged. I feel jet lagged. Like you had a good boy, good boy. Good to see you. Brad, this is the man. Well, pleased this to meet you. Nice. Jonathan nice. Shapiro. Nice. Nice. Wow. Brad Griffin, he's my main man. Okay. Does all my research, follows up on my legal and my copyright service. We've got a stack of faxes. Wait, so I'll take care of those. Well, I'll put things away. But sure, no. I'll put this out to yeah. us. Brad checks the fax machine. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Now, do you know Mike Peters? Do you know his work? Oh, Something's boy, bothering Brad. Probably. He calls Chester a song. Really going big. I'm really sorry to interrupt that. Well, that's all right. Could I speak with you for a second about this? Uh, yeah, sure. It's kind of urgent. All right, fine. No problem. Right, fine. Okay. Uh, these are some of the things we got commitments from. Some of the friends of yours in there. Is Peter Nicholson. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know him from He's a good man. Yeah. Right. What is it? Um, it's from Western Harbor. Um, it's a little bit of a problem. What, you, what problem? Well, they just faxed this through from Kipper right mm. now. It's, it's an attorney. I read that, and I'll show you what I can share. I mean, it's it's kind of it's kind of shocking, isn't it? Really, when you look. Well, uh, I mean, just read the first paragraph there. Yeah, I did. Uh, all right. I mean, there's a covering letter. No, I it's, see, it's, I see. All right, I'll take care of this. You. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I see, just see. Well, I, I understand. Just calm. I'll take care of it. Okay, I'll call Kipper. Please call Kipper. Okay. Cool. Yeah, find out if any of this has gone through the office in New York. Okay, cool. No problem. Can, can I ask you a personal question? Sure. How much would you say your own personal creativity is influenced by other artists? Uh, lots over the years. I'll tell you what I'm faced with here. Uh, what? Well, I, I, got a, I got a fax here from an attorney in, uh, in New York saying, I don't want to, really want to upset you on your safari, but this is very urgent. You're Zapiro, the South African cartoonist. At, <laughs> Says the following we file the copyright laws. Beginning letters and faxes. Wait, wait, wait. We got wait, wait, it. Wait, wait. This, this one's from New York. That one's from New York. Uh, Several letters of a complaint have been faxed from top American publications, all claiming that Sapiro is a plagiarist. Well, it says here, take a look at Cam Gardot's cartoon from our newspaper, then take a look at Which one? Sapiro Shane, came, up, came up with. They faxed me. This one is my Just absolute there. own idea. This one. Well, this one's is totally my own idea. I never, I never saw, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I, I have one from 
This is my second, I don't know even the date of that. Brad brings more evidence that the fax machine is spewing out, all proving that Sapiro has been copying the work of other cartoonists. That, that one I've never seen, I've never, I don't even know. I mean, you know, we, 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 oh, this, this is, is kind of crazy Brad. stuff. It's all right. No, 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 I want to see every, every single, single one. one. Because, uh, are we, I want to see every single one. We should check this stuff out. <laughs> For God's sake, there's a letter in Swedish. I, I want to know, I want to know, you've got to admit, I can see what the team just come through with this. There's hundreds of facts. Just calm down. I mean, I'm a little bit worried about where we're going with this kind of thing. Be more careful about it. Calm down, I am. That is, that is a joke, this one. That, that you cannot be serious. I mean, that, that well, somebody's comparing him and coming up with this. Oh you my God! Well, look at this. The bodyguard slips in behind Zapiro. Yeah. I don't even know how, how anyone could feel that this that these two are uh, in any way the same. I don't know, but they're they're warning me against uh, including me in the exhibition. Okay, well, well, f well f f them if, they want, if, that, if that's their, uh, I mean, that's absurd. I'm sorry. I, do, I but this what? is just this is spy versus spy. I mean, you can't. Do you not get Mad Magazine here? Of course, from the, like, the 50s, like everybody else. And well, that's Tintin, and so, so what are they ask, What are they they're, saying they're about that? Saying, they're saying that, that I shouldn't be dealing with you because you're copying but other people. You can't use other people. That's, 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 that's an illusion. I, I don't, it's copying to no, me. Hang on, hang on. Sorry? It's copying. It's, Look, Brad, isn't that just Brad, a, just Can you do that? Is that normal? Off. Oh my God, this Schultz. <laughs> What else? There, there's no, no reference to what's going on. Listen, I, you know, there's some things that are so bloody I'm obvious. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's, that's a homage. That's a, that's I'm sorry. I mean, says I just, and then Zapiro's old friend bursts in. I know. I just need to speak to Jonathan. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I know. I just, sorry. sorry. What? A, what? Hey, leave me alone. I just want to. CJ. Sorry. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Sure we sorry. I just want to. Uh, I don't. Sorry to interrupt. What are you? What I just are you need to show you this. When no, you introduce me to Stephen is bringing Burnside. evidence that Chester J. Burnside is a con man. Yeah. I've just been online in the business center in the hotel. I think you should look at that. Uh, yes, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, by the way, I, I've already picked up that this is a total scam. <laughs> I've, I've already... <laughs> No, what are you talking about? Because, well, that he's a scam artist. No, well, there's, there's he's something a scam about artist. what, what Listen, they're trying to do. Uh, uh, there's something that they try, what they're trying to do with me, which, which doesn't, doesn't bring any. You're the, absolutely right. No, These guys are not. What are you saying? We're scam artists. Sorry, you the yeah, yeah. Why does it I'm say on the web that you were on the run from the police? Now listen, there's an explanation. In 1999. I, was, I spent a year in London, all right? And I had a bunch of people trying to attack me because I was trying to buy things from the Tate Gallery. It, it, well, it says whatever here, you guys are trying to fraud you. All I'm trying to do is negotiate. Thank you for, 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 for saying this. I'd already picked the no, just just you know it up. As I arrived in here, yeah. they start they say, there's something really urgent coming through on the facts. Yeah. They're trying to scare the shit and the living day. I'm just trying to negotiate. You know what? You know what? What? You're trying to negotiate. You know what? I am sorry that I missed watching watching Australia play New Zealand, which would have been, I mean, I came up here, gave a family time to come up for a bloody scam. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me, how can you do a scam? So, would you get him out of here, please? Just get him out of here. Let him just get him out of here, will you? Now the final indignity. Zapiro is accused of plagiarizing himself. He says he plagiarizes his own work. Look at this, your friend's plagiarizing his own work, for God's sake. He plagiarizes your own work. That's what he says, we got this letter from the Soviet. Over here, we got this over here. I've never seen this stuff. What? Brad, this, calm down. I can't, right? can't calm we, down. We I want to talk to the man. You what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so what, what are you? Excuse I, me. This. That is blatant plagiarism of your own work. I mean, you, you can't plagiarize your own. Work. You can't plagiarize you yourself. You In America, that would never. Look, you, you have nothing to do. That. That's you please get him out of here. Just get him out of here. What are you calling? Actor boy, we. What are you? Yeah. Second and all that, lad. Yeah. <laughs>